PCB Track made the switch to the Division One level back in 2007, like every other program, but it gave the literal runners the chance to qualify for the D1 Nationals, something some local athletes are already starting to take advantage of. It might not have the flash of the other sports, but this year has been one to remember for CSUB track and field. The thing that's great about this season is it's happening across the board. It's not just one event area. Records are made to be broken, and the runners have done their part in shattering them. This year we have a, a lot of talent. Already 17 marks have made their way into the top 20 of the CSUB record book, including Tristan Watson, who passed the time that had stood for 27 years. Oh, by the way, he beat his dad, Johnny, who was there to literally pass his son the baton. <laughs> and have you heard about the school record holder? I want to be above and beyond where they want me at. Julian Finch, yes, the Garces grad and former athlete of the week, broke CSUB's 15-year-old pole vaulting record in just the third meet of her college career. Now I started looking at maybe trying to hit 13-3 to make it to junior nationals, which I wasn't even thinking of that at the beginning of season. Finch is ranked number one in the WAC, as is the runner's trio of high jumpers. We come in hungry, you know, we want, we want to prove that we are one of the best teams here. Tim Van Horn, Jose Flores, and Justin McKinley are expected to go 1, 2, and 3 at next week's WAC championships. Shut that one down. For coach Marsha Manser Wentworth, they reflect just the type of athlete she's looking to recruit. There's no magic. We're not doing anything here any different than they do all over the country as far as training. We have the same expectations of our student athletes as they do at all the big programs, and the ones who work hard are the ones that are enjoying success. No magic, just hard work. That, combined with an in flex of eight local products, or as coach calls them, the fierce freshmen, have these runners ready for their next challenge. It is good to have all these people doing so well at the same time, and it just, it draws in more people, you know. If we keep doing well, we keep getting good people. Now the WAC championships begin next Wednesday in the Rio Grande Valley, and should Julianne or any of those three high jumpers place in the top 48 of the region, they will head off to the NCAAs. That's in Austin at the end of May. In the studio, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports. Motors.